morning. It is the 19th day of Vlogmas and we are starting the day with a lovely breakfast out before we head home after our lovely long weekend, or not long weekend, the weekend. <laughs> Say hi. much unpacked. I hate unpacking after a trip away. I actually hate packing for a trip and I dislike unpacking as well. <laughs> Especially at the moment it just feels like there's just so much stuff everywhere. The house feels a little bit chaotic right now. I need to spend some time and actually get things organized but I have no motivation to do that. So um, yeah just thought I'd check in with you guys instead of sorting out my house and show you something that came in the mail for me uh, while we were away. So I think this came on Friday, um, but I haven't actually opened it yet. So I might open it with you and let's see what's inside. My friend Mel from Down Under Dyer has um, spoiled me. <laughs> she sent me through this gorgeous Christmas card and a couple of little gifts. Now this is a birthday present which I haven't opened yet so I'll do that with you all now. Mel is um, an Australian indie dyer based in Sydney and I absolutely love her work and we have become friends um, over the last few months. Oh my goodness, ah it's so pretty! Okay, I will show it to you in a second. I'm just trying to find the name and I love it. I think I've seen this colorway before. It's called On Wednesdays We Wear Pink. And Mel knows me well. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Mel. It's amazing. Oh, so squishy. And then she's also, sorry about the noise. Oh, how amazing. She sent me this beautiful bauble full of minis. And there's a little Toblerone in there. How amazing is that? Oh, Mel, you're just amazing and so talented. There's a Christmas speckle colorway in there. And I don't want to take it out. I don't want to break it. <laughs> but that is just the most special thing. I love it. Absolutely love it. That's going to go up on my Christmas tree, I think. I'm trying to find the name. Ah, there it is. The Jolly Good Red. Perfect. A couple of amazing minis there. This is absolutely perfect. Thank you so much, Mel. I love it. This is going up on my tree. I'm so excited. <laughs> so yes, that was really fun. Um, it is so fun to meet uh, makers from around the world and 
make friendships through this community. That's been my favourite part of all of this. Um, I really wish that distance wasn't such an issue that we could actually meet face to face and I hope that one day we will. The fact that we're, we're starting to open up our borders here in Australia now may mean that face to face meetups will be possible again soon. But thank goodness for technology, thank goodness for Zoom, thank goodness for Instagram and YouTube. It's been so lovely to get to know so many amazing people and generous, talented people around the world. So yes, I just thought I'd check in and share that with you. Now I really should put some of this stuff away. <laughs> I've done most of it. I've put all the clothes away. There's just now stuff on the bed. Better get moving. I thought I may as well show you the little bit of mess that is left. Let's keep things real, hey? <laughs> ah, that's all right. Get this packed up and then I will sit down and do a little bit of knitting. But I really need to get this on the tree first. I can't get over how pretty this is. So lovely. show you something that arrived in the mail last week as well. I ordered some new placemats for my dining table from Australian Makers Marketplace and I just thought I'd show you these lovely little things. So I do like the cork backed table placemats um, for use on our table I guess. I just find them quite useful, easy to clean up, I have fabric ones, but as you know, that can always be a little bit trickier putting them through the wash. So I ended up ordering a set of these ones. And here they are. I actually have, I think, three boxes of them that I ordered. I just liked the nice simplicity of this pattern. And we'll be getting rid of my very old ones today and replacing them with this. So if you're in the market for some homewares that are made locally, um, check out the Australian Maker Marketplace. I have been very impressed with this, the quality and the speed of the shipping as well. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. Now the other thing that I ended up getting were a couple of oven mitts. Now they didn't have the matching pattern, but I found these gorgeous sheep ones instead. <laughs> Uh, my oven mitts are quite old, so I thought, why not? Let's upgrade and update some of our kitchenware. And I'm really happy with these.
things around the house. I have um, put on a load of washing and now I'm sitting down to do a little bit of knitting on my sweet shop owner wrap and I got a little chilly so I thought I'd pull out a shawl and I decided to pull out my slip extravaganza that I knit back in 2020 just to put over my shoulders while I sit here and put a few rows on this before we get a start on dinner. weekend and it is now about 9 p.m. I think it is quarter to nine in the evening and I am so tired <laughs> I would like to draw another winner for the crystal tea knits advent patterns and today's keyword will be mistletoe so I really look forward to seeing your comments in the comments below they have been so much fun to read so if you if you include the word mistletoe in your comment I will draw the winner when I'm editing this vlog, which will be in about 24 hours from when this is posted. So I can't wait to see who the lucky winner for that is. So what my plan is now is to edit yesterday's vlog and try to have an early night. Um, I still have three days of work left this week and I am really looking forward to the working year being over but really need to also get through the next three days with some sort of sanity left behind so an early night is definitely on the cards. I hope you've had a great weekend and I hope that you're having a wonderful day no matter what time you're watching this and I will speak to you again tomorrow.